For, well, for me, I'm more of an occultist. You know what I mean? I, I study um, what I believe to be the world's oldest religion, which is, you know, more or less in, in my terms, I would just call it religious science. Or I would say the, the science of magic. Yeah. Is it also like the, the, the nature uh, science, the yeah. Wicca, or you call it the... Yeah, I'm, I'm very influenced by, by witchcraft and Wicca and stuff like that, but I'm not a practi practi practitioner solely of Wicca because I'm too, in, inter, I'm too interested in like the uh, es other esoteric orders of study like um, hermeticism, hermetic science, you know, f um, all kinds of other things too, you know what I mean, that I can't really talk about, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What couldn't you talk about? Well, I mean, I could. afraid this is broadcast in America. It'd probably be very boring. It's very boring stuff. People think it's very exciting and stuff, but when you actually get into studying it, it's just a lot of a lot of work. Now on the tour, the fifth tour, you said, uh, the fourth official and the fifth one uh, over here. Um, the difference between Europe and uh, America, yeah. and, and not, not particularly in the music, but in the people, how they react to your show and how mm -hmm. you can move around in, in here. You said, I'm a fan of Europe more than America, mm -hmm. much more freely, well, probably because of your uh, openly homosexual nature. Yeah. I, my guess was in Nashville wouldn't be a, a place where Brobeck Mountain would yeah. With four weeks in a, in a no, movie theater. Nobody went to see it. Man. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Yeah. And in a country uh, environment. Mm -hmm. How do you stay um, yourself head up there? Well, I just keep to myself and I got my own little house and I watch a lot of television and play records and read books, you know. And I got a cat and stuff, you know. So <laughs> we hang out and then, you know, sometimes I go to the gay bar and stuff. And But I've had, yeah, I've had a really hard time meeting like uh, um, other musicians that I kind of get along with and stuff but that are from you know that area but I really do love Nashville and I've lived there for almost 10 years and I'm real real happy there you know so every you know I travel so much that I get to see the whole world it, it kind of doesn't matter where I live and when I go home I don't really feel like going out much you know and I can live in Nashville and it's very centrally located and cheap and affordable and there's a lot to do we have a wonderful symphony orchestra so if you it's not just country music if you if you and a hockey game we had it's talk pearlman just a couple of months ago and i couldn't go because i was on you know but you know or you could go see ahmad jamal another night you know what i mean or you know any number of people come there jazz and classical and great rock players too so there's always something to do yeah yeah i've been a couple of times and i love the bar when you when you sit on the one side and you you can buy boots on the other side of you've this. been to nashville <laughs> man i didn't know that man yeah that what's times. the name of that bar i forget What's your dream in the music? If we, if we have the same conversation a couple of years further on and let's take 10 years, mm. uh, is Jason Richie still approachable? Man, I, I really don't know. You know, it's really hard for me to say what's going to happen. You know, um, I've been through so many changes, you know, that I know enough now. To, to not say, oh yeah, I'm always going to be the same and I'll always be friendly and nice and everything. But, you know what I mean, sometimes I don't want to talk to people, but like, I'll always want to talk to harmonica players. I know that for a fact, because the music is so in enthusiastic, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I mean, as far as me, I mean, I'll always like have love to give to the world, you know what I mean? But I, I don't know how much, you know, at what times and how often and, you know, uh, the older I get, the more I understand why there's a green room. I 
lost my hearing. You know, I had an earring in yesterday. I had to lose it because of this girl last night just kept grabbing my ear, you know, and she meant well. Yeah. She was really nice, but like, you know, now I, my ear's infected and I had to take the earring out and I have to get it rear pierced and everything. It's like, you know, that's one of the little things like that year after year after yeah. year. How do you call it? Don't kill your darlings. You know, it's not people. It's alcohol. <laughs> you know what I mean? It impairs judgment. It lowers your inhibitions and it in increases aggression. And, well, and that's the same in Europe or Japan or the United States, man. You know what I mean? That's the same. And when people are too intoxicated and they're around me, you know what I mean? Sometimes I don't want to be around those people, you know. Well, you quite... Uh, you, you, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, I should <laughs> yeah. You asked all the worst questions, man. Okay, I'm no, doing no, no, fine then. No, no, I, love, I, I like them. It's just I, feel, I, 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 I have a problem where I can't answer anything dishonestly. You know what I mean? But musically. Where you want to add it 10 years? Much more oh, yeah. platinum CDs or is filled stadiums? Well, yeah, that's I really would love to get to that level. I, I don't know. That's entirely up to me whether that happens. I believe that. I don't I don't blame the world about whether that happens. If if I can put that in my mind and truly believe that, then I can make that happen. I mean, I've made it to this far, and and that's because I was able to envision making it to this far. And nothing can stop me, and, and I can't blame anything. But if I can't get it here, which I might not be able to, then I might not make it there. But, yeah. Maniac about uh, your the harmonica. You, yeah. I, I told that you've been oh, yeah. studying eight hours a day. Well, I used to. Yeah, nowadays I don't really play that much. Yeah. Well, that's why we. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's why we have Ben Bowman here, and yeah. he, he's an, uh, a Dutch great uh, harmonica player. Yeah. He has he has the knowledge of anything we don't know. So yeah. that's a great moment for me to give him the microphone, so uh, he can yeah. ask you a few questions okay. about techniques and harmonicas and. Oh, cool. A one-on-one for the for the audience, and uh, that's the end for me. And I uh, would say it's not the end of Blues Moves TV or radio, Thanks, but man. Ben is taking over for me. Yeah.